I'm going to get to Jen in just a moment, but I turned here. This is Kelly Fry from WTAE in Pittsburgh, the ABC station there. She is a warrior. She has gone through her health issues. She's here with her daughter, and it is beautiful, wonderful to see you. as I was saying, <laughs> to the GMA Health Alert. Love you, Kelly. Thank you. About losing weight. To lose pain, knee osteoarthritis affects more than 250 million people worldwide. Many of them are overweight or obese. And now a new study says a 20% weight loss could reduce joint pain by up to 25%. So tell us about this All study. right, let's get right to okay. it, Robin. We've known for a while that being overweight or obese is really bad for the joints. What we didn't know is how much weight do you need to lose to really make an impact and is more better. So that's what this study looked like. It was done at Wake Forest in North Carolina. They followed people for a year and a half, and what they found is that losing just 5% of their mm -hmm. starting body weight definitely helped on certain endpoints like pain, mobility, uh, inflammatory markers, but losing more definitely was better. So even over 20% over uh -huh. time, gradually and safely made a big, big difference. You're on going to joints. demonstrate what you're talking about yeah. here. Little mini med school okay. lesson. We know that overweight and obesity is bad for the joints for two reasons. One, inflammation. Two, this is pure physics. So I want to show you what I mean. If you imagine these sponges as the cartilage in your knee, for every one pound of being overweight, mm -hmm. it exerts four pounds of pressure. So this is about four pounds of weight, okay. you see your joint can tolerate sure. it pretty well. If you're five pounds overweight, Robin, that is the equivalent of 20 pounds of oh, pressure wow. on your knee joint. When this cartilage is pre compressed, it's like riding a car on bare rims, mm. tires. What you're bone on bone, and that's what causes so much trouble. You're certified in obesity medicine. Right. I know that this is a catch-22 because, okay, you want people to exercise, but how can they right. when they're in pain? And we have to understand, I just demonstrated being five pounds overweight, but, but people who are 100 pounds overweight, if a doctor or healthcare provider says, just be more active, mm. they can't walk. So look at this graphic because this is the standard of care now in dealing with overweight and obesity. Yes, dietary practices matter. You want to lower calorie, control portions, slowly increase your activity if possible. FDA approved weight loss medications are now the mainstay and bariatric surgery for a few people if appropriate. But keep this in mind. Okay. This is what damages the joints. All right. And, and the diet is so very important. Yeah. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.